Diablo 2 Resurrected Patch 2.3 is about to come out, and with it is a few improvements that I'm actually looking forward to, and I think you will too. The first improvement is they're going to be adding a slider bar for those people on console uh, that lets you increase the difficulty of the game that you're playing. So they already have this on PC where you type slash players 8 or slash players 7 or, or whatever you want, and that increases the game difficulty as if you were playing with that many players. And what that does is not only increases the difficulty of the game, but it increases the amount of loot and, and gear that you can get from all the monsters. This is only available for single player. So if you prefer to play online, you're still going to have to sneak into someone else's room and go kill all the bosses or whatever you want to do for magic finding before they find out or before they leave the game so you can get take advantage of the extra loot. But I found that playing with the controller can be very relaxing. So I'm actually happy that I don't have to get off the couch in order to increase the difficulty anymore. I can just change the difficulty from the comfort of the questing couch. Which brings me to my favorite news because as I was playing with the controller, which is a very relaxing thing to do, especially if you have a summoner, uh, you'll notice that playing with the controller, you'll have a complete action bar. So each button can be assigned to different skills. So you can quickly switch between skills and, and what, what you're casting. Now, if you're going to play with the mouse and keyboard, you will have just the one skill active. You can assign different F uh, keys to each of the skills so you can scroll like uh, normal, but it's not as convenient as if you could just have them all assigned to whatever button you want, really. So they're going to have an action bar now, even if you're playing with keyboard and mouse. So it's kind of like almost like World of Warcraft, or in fact, it's very much like Diablo 3. So that's going to make it a lot easier and more fun, actually, because you could just spam a bunch of spells, much like how I do with the Amazon when I'm doing my trap assassin, because sometimes I want to use the charge bolt uh, trap, sometimes I want to use the lightning trap, and then if uh, I'm going up against the cow king, I'm going to need to use the uh, other trap, which I'm, this, I think it's called sentry. Anyway, you'll see it in the footage. I use that because the corpse explosion attacks the king because he is immune to all my lightning. As well as with this patch, you're adding a bit of uh, accessibility and graphical improvements, as well as a few little gameplay improvements. And still, they have nothing planned to take care of the chat bots that are plaguing all the open channels, uh, much like they were with the original Diablo 2. So it's great that they haven't fixed that problem yet, and I'm sure they won't fix it anytime soon. Please fix it, Blizzard. It's a menace. But that's all to report on for this patch. You can like and subscribe if you want to help me out and support the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below uh, with things you want to see uh, added or improved on in Diablo 2 moving forward. But until next time, keep on questing.